Welcome to Weapons Education. Hey, I just landed a couple hours ago, and uh, I just want to preempt this video and talk to you a little bit, and let you know what you're about to watch, and bring you up to date on what happened over the last four days on my trip to Philadelphia to see my friend Pete, all of our friend Pete at the Ar Armory Channel. It was a really a great trip. All my trips up there are great. And I think we really do complement each other well, not only as business partners, but more, more so as, as friends. I'm going to talk about a couple of things real quick. We'll talk about a couple of guns here. One gun, the SWAT 556, which we're going to shoot next week. But uh, I really like the fact that when we were at the gun show for two days, hundreds of people came up to us and shook our hands and knew us. And, and the Pete really got a kick out of that because he admittedly is a private person. So, and I'm more of an outgoing person. We're all different people. Otherwise, we'd be clones, right? And that's, that's not a good thing. So, with the fact that I found such a good friend online, and, and Pete has been such a good friend to me, and he helps me, he compliments me, and I compliment him. And we all compliment each other. All of you help me. So I really thank you for that. All the people who came to us at the gun show, we're really excited. Some people stayed for 10 minutes at their booth, and uh, some stayed for an hour, and just helped us at the booth because it was so busy. So that was really cool, and Pete is now saying, yeah, you know what? I like this. I need to be more outgoing. I need to meet more people. I need to meet, engage more and be a little bit more like me, and, you know, and, just, and, and I like it, and that's good for Pete because he's... he's uh, not realizing how much people really care about him. So if you can really send him some kind PMs, or not PMs, just put it on his profile. Let him know how much you care about him, because it goes a long way. It's not easy doing what we do. My wife's here. Say hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Everyone wants to put a, I'm just going out loud here. They want to put a, a face on your voice. So what I did was made you a permanent fixture of my background. Until you decide to get on the channel, take a nice zoom in. Well, do it. Just zoom in. Okay, just, and stay very close. Zoom in close. My beautiful wife, that was taken in 04 when we got married. Her blooming, her, her blue eyes, which are just gorgeous. And uh, huh, there she is. Put that one in 1080p. Keep it nice, she's my wife. <laughs> but now you have a face on her voice. And we met way back in 93, got married in 04. I, uh, I definitely knew you were the one. She was, she was a teller at a bank, <laughs> and, and, and no matter what the lines were at the bank, if I had a check to cash, which I made my, I'd write myself a check for 50 bucks if I had to, just to go cash and to go meet her. And I would go regularly, like every four or five days, three, four days. Her line's got 10 people, and, and the other girl's empty. I'm like, I'm going that long line. And then I got, and she finally went out with me, and we, it, just, it was love at first sight. It was, it's been, it's since 93, it's, it's been a great role, and thank you so much, honey. Everyone does appreciate you doing all this work. I mean, it's late right now, and you got to get up at 5 a.m., and it's like, I don't know, 10, 10 11 a.m., 10 p.m. It's late. So thank you so much. Sure. And that's a permanent fixture in the background. All right, let's get back on track here. So the trip went great. We did a couple of days at the gun show, did real well, sold hundreds of shirts. The merchant website, Armory Express Outlet, is rocking. Thank you so much. But please remember, this is the coupon code to get 10% off. Weapons Ed, Weapons Ed, all one word, lowercase, W-E-A-P-O-N-S-E-D, Weapons Ed. And you just put that in, apply the coupon code, get your 10% off, because we sold like 25 holsters yesterday, and I feel bad you guys didn't put the coupon code in. So I'm always going to be popping that up on, the, on my own profile, and also Pete's. I, I put it in the profiles, so it's always there, and you know what the coupon code is. And thank you for supporting the channel, because... The couple of bucks that come from that goes right back into all of this. You know, expenses to fly all around and do the types of things we do and helping me fight gun, gun laws and, and all the things we're doing. I got some surprises up my sleeve. I, like, I, well, you know, I'm doing radio shows and all this stuff. It costs money. So when you support the store, you're supporting everything that I speak about. And that's all good karma. That's just that's what it's all about. But use your coupon code, WeaponZ, and get your 10% off. Uh, what else did we do this weekend? And you're about to see. You'll meet a cool character. Uh, he's got a cool car. Uh, we, you'll see Pete and I chat a little bit. Just some fun stuff. Nothing, nothing too extravagant. It, we couldn't videotape inside the gun show. We couldn't videotape inside the 
inside of the uh, the gun store where I bought two guns. Now I knew, and we all knew, I was buying the Desert Eagle, and I did, and it was shocking. You'll see it here in a few minutes. It's it it, it caught me off guard when I first opened it up the box and picked it up. It's huge. And it's, I want to put it in your, in your hands. I'm not going to let you shoot it, honey, but I want to put it in your hands to show them the size difference, to show them how huge it is. <laughs> it is a little outrageous. I didn't realize it was that outrageous, the 50 AE. It's, it's, it's a monster, and it's even hard to, to rack it and all that stuff, but it's, well, we'll talk about it. So I'll have that on Wednesday along with a second gun, which Pete gives you a hint in this video of what it is. You'll probably guess it. I know you guys will. And the only hint is, is that it's a gangster gun. And I wasn't planning on buying it, but the guy gave me such a good deal, and he was such a nice guy. And I like supporting local gun shops, and it's Pete's friend. So, I, all right. And so that's being shipped simultaneously with the Desert Eagle. And you're going to get a kick. I'm going to make a fun video with that one. If you can guess the gun, then try to guess what kind of video I'll make with it. Because we got to have fun. Besides learning and all that stuff, that's going to be a fun video, and then we'll do a lot of stuff with that gun. I can't wait to go to the range. So we're going to go to the range. Next time I go to the range, it'll be in about a week. I'm bringing three guns: so the new Desert Eagle, the the new special surprise gangster gun, and then this, which you haven't seen me shoot yet, the Sig 556. And the range has got some special ammo for me to use indoors. So that's going to be cool where we're going. Local, close. I have to go close for time's sake. That's about it. So enjoy the video right now, and I got some cool stuff coming up. Thank you for checking in. Bye. Hey, how are you? Very good. Very good. All right, welcome everybody. Weapons Education, of course, Tom and Pete were together. Yes. I had a great trip. I flew up, as I promised, I flew up on Friday from Fort Lauderdale. Flight was perfect. Landed about, what, 3 p.m.? Right to the car. Drove, drove right to your house. And it's just been a blast, non-stop. Those of you who've been watching Pete for all these years, you can imagine how much fun I'm having and how much enjoyment the two of us are having together as good friends. It's just pretty rare to find a good friend in life. You know, think of it. I can count on less than two hands people who are really sincerely honest that I can trust no matter what situation I'm in, what pick I'm in, that that person's going to be there for me. And Pete turned out to be one of those types of people. So it's, I've always enjoyed coming on these trips. This is about my third trip now in three or four months. So what did we do Friday? We started And out. remember, you, you don't know someone until you meet them face to face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, but then again, remember that. I, I feel like I do get to know our friends. Uh, we interact oh, on the phone. Know. and we, yeah. But it's never, never like meeting them face to face and yeah. going to dinners and spending three, four, five straight days with them. It's just that's when you really bond together. So um, we want to say a couple things. Let's first start off with Friday. We uh, what did we do Friday? We went to dinner at Carabas. Yes, we did. Rented rented the car, um, and then we went to the gun shop, and we ended up. Oh yeah, this is cool. We knew that I was going to pick up a Desert Eagle, and we're going to you know check that all out. It's beautiful. What, you, what was your first impression? You'll see it here in a moment. We're going to edit this stuff together. The Desert Eagle. It's huge. It's huge. It's really much larger than I anticipated, and heavier than I anticipated. It's beautiful. It, it's really. You'll see it right after we are talking. I want to show you the Desert Eagle. Okay. And then the other cool thing is, I picked up another gun that I was never in my mind dreaming I would get this gun, but it's just so cool. Well, I'll just want to give him a hint. What, what, what was your idea of a hint? It's very gangster. Very <laughs> gangster. You're trying to guess it. You'll probably That's guess it. it now. That's the only hint you're getting. That's the only hint you're getting. It's beautiful. But, right? yeah. It's beautiful. It's something I always wanted. You know? It's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. It's already seen shipped. A lot of, seen, seen a lot. Seen Monday. Right? Seen a lot of subs at the gun show. Everyone was real nice to us. It, it was great. Yeah, we had Saturday we went to the gun show. I'm looking forward to doing it again. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, let's talk about the gun show a little more. We set up. Um, Pete's wife is behind the camera. I want to thank you. Thank you so much. Say hello. Hi, you're welcome. Okay, cool. All right, and what we did was we set up a, a booth for Armory Express Outlet. And I want to I want to thank some people right now because it was really nice. Hundreds of people uh, came up to our booth. We recognized uh, either Pete or myself or both, and it was just really fun. We would talk to some people for a half an hour. So thank you, everybody. Right, Pete? It was great. I mean, it was, it was great, fun. wasn't it? It was just so kind and nice. So we did get to meet a lot of people in person, right? Talking about that, meeting them in person. I loved it. I didn't think I would like that, but I do like it now. Now, now I'm looking forward to doing more gun shows. 
and seeing more people in person. And we want to announce cool. it in the future. Because you were a little hesitant, should we announce it? And do we want everyone to show up? But it's yeah, still great. Little, we loved it. I'm kind of a private guy, you know what I mean? But I think I need to change that shit. <laughs> no, we do it. Yeah. <laughs> in the in the future, we'll um, we'll announce it. I think the next date is December we're, we're 16th. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna start doing all the gun shows. Yeah, and the other people we want to thank is all of the new friends that we met in person at the gun show. The thousands of people. I don't know how many thousands of people we shook hands with and spent a lot of time with. Um, the hundreds of shirts that you purchased, thank you so much because I know you said you're going to watch the channel. So if you're wearing our shirt, we really appreciate it. And those of you who said you were going to go to our um, armoryexpressoutlet.com and purchase products, we'll find out on Monday when we log in and check it out. But thank you so much if you did. And those of you who promised you were going to join the NRA through our link when you get, get home, either Saturday night or tonight's Sunday now, thank you if you did join the NRA. We had a couple of hundred people who said they would. So we're hoping to find out through private messages if you did. Really met yep. some nice people. Even all the vendors we met were incredible. Yep. Now we're going to go to um, the Outback. I think we're going to the Outback, right? We're eating again. Yeah. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a fun little video. You're yeah. going to see one of the coolest <laughs> cars. One of, one of Pete's friends and now one of my friends. Yeah. Uh, his name is Chuck. When you see Chuck's car, should we just give him a tip? We're going to see it in a second because it's editing. It's got 20 something TVs in it. I've never seen a car like Chuck's this ever. Chuck's a character, man. Chuck's a character. You're going to get a kick out of this. All right. So let's go to dinner. Thank you so much. All right. See you guys. See ya. <laughs> hey, does this place look familiar? Welcome to Weapons Education or the Armory Channel also simultaneously. We've got two cameras going at once. Pete, say hello. What's up? I'm Our, shy. I can't say nothing. He's I shy. <laughs> I'm shy. You're shy. You haven't made any videos, have you, Pete? Is this the first one? It's the first one I ever made. Yep. 400 and what are you got? 400, 411, I think. 411. Yep. I want to take this moment here. I flew from Fort Lauderdale to Philadelphia today, and we're going to, I'm here about three or four days. I've got my laptop, so I'm checking all the comments, and um, Pete is also. So I want to take this moment. Pete doesn't know I'm doing this, but during the year of 2010, I didn't have a channel, of course. I started around the middle of February of 2011. And during the year of 2010, Pete was like my idol, and still is. And he was my sole source of motivation to start my channel. Uh, it was my third trip here now in about three or four months, and we always have a good time when we get together. But I just wanted to personally thank Pete to everybody on his channel um, and on my channel also. You know, last night, on this today's Friday and last night Thursday night before my trip I made about 10 or 12 phone calls and I received about five or six phone calls and I was talking to a lot of you on the phone chatting and I just said you know by the way I'm going to Philly tomorrow to see Pete and everyone had one specific type of comment in, in common and that is something to the effect of Pete is such a good soul we love the passion that he has for the gun community we really appreciate everything he does and you know Pete you might think this that Maybe that your hobby and my hobby now too is a, mm -hmm. a thankless, you know, something I've been doing is kind of thankless, but people don't appreciate it. Right. And sometimes, you know, there's some silly stuff that happens. But I have to tell you, the people I spoke to last night, the comments I see on your channel, people love you and they really appreciate what you've done and the passion that you have for firearms. Well, and I mean that sincerely. They're the ones that keep me doing it. You know, the people that are sour and they always have something smart to say. But they way outweighed by the good people. Like I said, if there wasn't good people, more than evil people, the planet wouldn't exist, right? Yeah, that's a good point. That's, that's no. what keeps me going, too. Yeah, it wouldn't. So. All the excellent comments are just, it's really, it's really motivational. But I want to personally thank Pete for getting me involved and starting my videos. We became friends very quickly, just in around March, right, Pete? Mm -hmm. And um, and we're on the phone almost every night, and I'm, I fly here regularly now, every six weeks. And I feel like I'm at home. This is yeah. like, because, you know, after watching the, the video so often, all these years, and then all of a sudden to sit right here, it's like, it's part of my room, my house. It's like a room in my back, in my house, you know? It's, right. it's kind of interesting to feel this, the, the good karma that's here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll keep it short. I just want to show you a gun. Just beautiful, picked up. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's, uh, Look it'll, at this be, thing. it'll be at the... My house here next week. Oh boy, is it heavy! I don't know <laughs> the stats on this. Oh, okay, so look at that. that! You got a good glance at it. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's a Desert Eagle, 50 AE. It's gold plated. Yeah, Israel Weapon Industries. Right. 
Yeah, gold plated. You know, I was thinking, is this going to be a little gaudy, a, a little too much? I don't think it is. You don't I don't think, think it's it classy is? looking, man. It, I think the Desert Eagle can pull that off. Now, yeah. if that was a revolver, I think it would look ridiculous. Yeah. But the Desert Eagle it can look anyway because look, it's just a legendary gun. Look at it. It's a, I don't know. This it's, it's a badass. Feels like it's about over four and over pounds. Again. I, don't, I don't know the weight. It's I five. I think it's five, five pounds. pounds. Yeah. yeah it's heavy. But it needs to be. You got, oh you're, God, you're shooting a fifty cal out of that thing. Okay. It's, well, it's Monday. Ready to get on the airplane. It's early. It's about seven a.m. We're at a place called the Springfield Diner, and Pete is over there. Let's take a walk up. It's really a nice diner. This is our new spot for breakfast. Pete, you hungry? <laughs> you like his outfit? Yeah, I'm hungry. I heard you're gonna get some scrap for breakfast. You, you like scrap? 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 Scrapple? Scrap. <laughs> yeah, what well, is scrapple? That's what I call it. Scrap. When they call it, no, it's scrap. That's what I call it. Scrapple. It's. Uh, I don't want to get too graphic. Yeah, get Your graphic. It's not like mine. <laughs> Well, what's in it? Yeah, what's in it? It's the pig's ass, his boogies, his nose, uh, his toenails, his little hiney hairs, everything you can imagine. Uh, I got a new AR part, and I think you guys are going to think it's real awesome. Who makes it? Magpul, of course. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like my other, it's, a, it's like I have a Magpul on it that I just bought. But they didn't have quite the one I wanted. When I went to the gun show, there it was right there. I had to get it. So I'll have something for sale for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll go in the diner and get some scrap. Okay. I'm not getting scrapple. You have to. I'll get There's some egg whites. I'll get some egg whites. You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside. All right. That's a cool bike. What is this? It says uh, Warrior. Warrior. What happened at the restaurant, Pete? I need Pete? a Harley fat boy. What happened at the restaurant? <laughs> they don't allow video cameras. We found that out, didn't we? We found that out real quick. They almost kicked us out. Yeah, but he was cool on the way out. We made up. You made up? We made up. I was trying to film you in front of all... Him off. How, you were eating all the desserts and the, and the scrapple, and I was filming it. And he got all bent out of shape. Did you like the scrapple? You tasted it. Yeah, I tasted it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. I'll tell you, man. Yeah. It shit's good. And I'm a skeevy dude. I don't eat fish. You know, I don't eat seafood because I don't like the way it smells. But I'll eat a, I'll eat a pig's ass. <laughs> it tastes good. So you can tell me, right? We're going to meet a character right now. My friend Chuck. Chuck E. Cheese, I call him. Chuck's a character, man. He's got a bigger personality than both of us put together. Times four. Yeah, he's on, he's turbo, man. He's turbo. So turbo. <laughs> I'm going to go to a gun shop also. Okay, let's go check it yeah, out. Let's see some new guns. This is going to be fun. Chuck, say hello to everybody. Hey, how's everybody out there? How Pete, long have you known Pete? How long I've been known Pete for what, about seven years now? Yeah, about, seven, yeah, about years. seven years. We've been buddies, gun partners, gun, yeah. gun partners and yeah. everything. You guys guns sh shooting together, right? Oh, yeah, shooting together, all kinds of stuff. My family knows his family, good guy. How many children do you have? I have um, three kids, three, um, three year old, two three-year-olds and um, one um, new month. One, one month old. Congratulations. One month old, yeah. You're quite the character. Yeah, one of, one of the best that ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> best that ever did it. I, I call you Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah, it sounds good to me. What do, you, what do you call yourself, Chuckles? Chuck. They used to call me Chuckles because I'm always smiling. If I'm frowning, <laughs> something's wrong, you better run. Let's <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That's funny. Yeah. But I'm a good guy, though. Good yeah, guy. I know. You're, 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 Got three you're, foster yeah. children. We adopted two of them and about to adopt another. Yeah, you're oh, a good man. Yep. Let's look at your car. Tell okay. us all about it. What we got here is the Orion box, and we it's two thousand watt um, um, amplifier. You. Two thousand watt amplifier. I got three amplifiers behind this, so all together I'm pulling six thousand watts with Jeez. seven TVs. Picture in picture, you can play Game Boy on either one of these, or watch watch your own um, your own video. Either or. And there's a 20 inch TV coming down here. Where? Seven inch Where? Up here at the um, hood. Now how are you going to watch it up there? You don't. It's for car shows. We can play videos on it while you're sitting barbecuing, drinking, yeah. watching a football game, whatever you want to do. How many total TVs do you have? It's going to be, i got seven now. It's going to be 12 TVs. 12. Once I'm done. Damn, I mean, I got 12. <laughs> once I'm done. You even have one in the rear view mirror if you can see it, if you take your we'll camera. We'll get to it. We'll side. get to it. What's yep. in the back here now? You have the um, Orion box that was um, built by um, Car Sounds, but. Um, a friend of mine, another friend of mine from um, um, Sounds of Tri-State, he's going to do a big um, 
a binky is going to finish off the box real nice on the side. Put TVs on the outside. That's why these wires are here. Therefore, T you won't see these wires. That's why the wires are here. Well, as I drive, you'll see everything I'm playing on my stereo. <laughs> Sounds of Tri-State. Very good. Very good. Man, dude. Very good. Then you got the um, picture in picture here. You can watch TV in the corner while you're playing video games in the center. Damn, truck. <laughs> my truck don't even have cruise control. That's it. So you're looking at over maybe what? A lot of people ain't got this in their homes. May, 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 many people ain't got it in. It's a home theater over $20,000, $22,000 sitting in there now. And when I'm done, it's going to be much more, at least 30000 sitting inside. Pimp my ride. Yep. <laughs> right? Look, and, uh, what on the you, side, what can you do for my junkie truck? I can do a lot. Just give what it to me. I'll, it, I'll trick it out. <laughs> well, make sure I'll trick it out. <laughs> and on the side here, you have the Fierros. The Fierros 22s. Sitting on 22s. Oh, that's a sweet yeah. man. Yep. No, they don't spin. I, uh, I don't want to. I don't, want, I don't want the cops to think I'm racing, no. You know, so they ain't going to stop. I mess with them. Always take care of law enforcement. Always. Is it, is it a bump? Respect them. Oh, of course, we love our law enforcement. <laughs> is it a bumpy ride with those tires? No, not at all. Matter of fact, they're low, low profile, no bumpy ride at all. It's perfect. I've been really? in Delaware, everywhere, yeah. I might go to California and meet my newfound friend. I just met and sold a couple of cuts to. And um, friend of peace, what's your name again? Tom. Tom, my buddy Tom, my new found friend. I might go out there and ride it to Florida. Me and Pete take a road trip. There you Get go. Get away there from the wife. Get and him kid. down there. Yeah. Yeah. You can watch TV all the way there, Pete. All the way there, yep. Yeah. All the way there. Sit there. <laughs> be stop somewhere and get a cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, inside you, here. You got satellite that would cable be great. there? No, I had cable TV, but Flow TV stopped. Oh, I, had, okay. I had CNN. Everything was in here. I like the Tweety Bird, man. Oh, you know, those things are coming out. I'm going to get something better. <laughs> uh, also, there's a um, TV in the rear view mirror. Let's go in here. There's a, there's a seven inch TV in the rear view mirror. If I close the store, you might be able to see it better. Yeah, it's got a glare now, but it's all right. Mr. 45 Bullet. He's a friend of mine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, his name's Bill. Oh, okay. Then you got, Bill. He'll be up soon. Then you got an eight inch TV okay. it's in the dash. It's, it's um, Bluetooth. It's MP3 player. It's. Um, Navigation system, yeah. yes, it's got all of that in it. <laughs> I, I know this ain't about guns, guys, but once in a while we gotta go. Yeah, you gotta, gotta change gotta, it up. You gotta change it up. Right, off, right, right, right. And meet some I'm, of my personal and friends. And newfound people, I'm the black sheep of the family. Well, he did Tom's family. I'll do, do addition. Just call me the new addition. <laughs> the new addition. <laughs> Every time I come, I have to come yeah, busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it, guys. Right. Next time you see it, I will have my 12 TVs in. And you'll see it from the outside. You'll see 10 inch TVs from the outside. What kind awesome. of guns you got left? Oh my God, what I got left? I got a, um, I got the, what is the Sega um, 12 gauge shotgun? Shoots, um, holds 20 12 gauge shotgun bullets. Yeah. But I ain't got the clip on it. I got a clip, 13 clip, a 5 clip, and a 10 clip to it. I okay. still got the 308 Panther, 10 football fields accurate. Damn. What else I got? I got a 357. I got a Uzi. I got, it wasn't much of nothing I didn't have. Yeah. Now I got the kids, I got the house. Some of the stuff are going away. But I'm gonna start back recouping once I get back with my buddy Pete. And you got and you got a new house, don't you? Yeah, brought a new house. Congratulations, yep. doing good. Doing pretty. You're good loving now. life, aren't you? Yep. Always, always. You've Man. had you've had some health issues and you got through it. Had oh to yeah, do that. got through it. I had what? I've um, had a thing called necrotizing fasciitis. Where I was in the hospital. Why? What is it called? Necrotizing fasciitis. Where it's uh, yeah. flesh eating disease, huh. and it took a third of my leg. Yeah. It took a third you of my leg. Yeah, you see the scars. Took a third of my leg. That was completely open. Like if I took a razor and cut it, you could touch the vein. The vein was pulsating. I How was did you a, catch that? Um, diabetes. I'm a diabetic. Oh, and what had happened, I didn't clean the wound. Clean all wounds. Always remember, clean all wounds. And another thing that happened, I had a heart attack. I had a stroke from it. I was in the University of Pennsylvania for three months straight. Three spinal taps. I had 32 surgeries in my lifetime. But look at me now. How old are you? I am 46. And you're loving life. Loving always. Yeah. Every day. You every bring, day. You bring joy to the channels. Every day. Every day. My wife, it was, the one thing I want to mention, if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be living today. Yeah. Now, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be living. But my wife stayed up there every day. She's a sweetheart. That's my heart. All right. And shout out to my, my, my daughter, Sarah, Justin, my son, Justin, and my other daughter, Anna. Why you like, why you like Tom's camera better than mine? Huh? Oh, I don't know why. You know what? Because Tom's looking at me. Tom's looking like Tom Cruise right now with the glasses Tom on Cruise. and it's mesmerizing. It's, <laughs> it's stuff. All right, guys. All right, All right, right Chuck. Talk All right, to you guys. soon, buddy. Have a good one, guys. Right, what do you got there, Pete? Oh. For is that truck. for me? Oh my God! Nice. Look what at this. Is. Oh man, God! I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear this on the, those muscle days after I lose the weight <laughs> because I'm going in for surgery. Uh, a little bariatric surgery. And the shirts that the Tom and um, Pete then gave me are astronomical. I love them. Look at the guns. The guns is the thing. 
The guns are the thing. Go on their website. Do not forget to go on these two websites. Yeah, these Number are, one guys, I'm these, telling you. These are pretty hot at the gun, yeah. the gun show. We were there both days, but it mentioned that Saturday right. and Sunday. Uh, hundreds good. of shirts. Good? Yeah, yeah. Good. But more importantly, we met a lot of really good people. Right, 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 right. People the camaraderie of the thing. The people who know us, plus right. new people that we met. Right, That's right. what it's all about. People right. like you. Right. It makes my trip really well, you'd fun. Never, you'd never find another guy like me. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, check you out. Yeah, I'm what? taking, I'm everyone, taking his friend. Says I'm short. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> short? I'm three foot six. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm four foot six. Now, how can the people out there get shirts like this? They go to armoryexpressoutlet.com. Hey, Pete, tell them about it, buddy. Sell your product. Where do they all know? They all know. Oh, okay. yeah, they know. Yeah. <laughs> they all know Pete. I, I'm not a salesman. I just no. kind of zing. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm going to have to come sell for you. What do you do, Pete? Do that again. You kind of want? <laughs> you do it zing. again. Oh, God. Look zing? at that. Grace will die for my Italian What does zing mean? What does that mean? I wish I was Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said I He's, wish I was Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> you look sad. Don't look so sad, buddy. I'm old, I am sad. Why, man? You got things going for you. You got a beautiful yeah. wife, good kid. I got man boobs. Good. I got them too, too. <laughs> All right, now let's ain't that kind of party. Right. Ain't that kind of, ain't that kind of you're, you're a trip truck. Let's, go, know, let's go for a ride. <laughs>